Military leaders say there's been progress, but admit there's still a long way to go when it comes to diversity in the ranks. The bottom line from a hearing on Capitol Hill, they need more women, women and people of color. 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding is in the newsroom to break this down for us. Mike. Well, Nicole, one of the big problems here isn't simply recruiting women and minorities into the military, but it is figuring out a way to keep them. The vast majority of troops are men and they are white. Here's the breakdown from the nonpartisan think tank Pew Research Center. Out of a total force of 1.3 million personnel, 83.5% are men and 16.5% are women. 57% are white, 16% are black, 16% are Hispanic, 4% are Asian, and 6% listed as other. They deserve the opportunity to excel unencumbered by biases and barriers and free from hate crimes or sexual assaults that threaten their safety. Military leaders from each branch who had happened were all white men told the House Armed Services Military Personnel Subcommittee the branches are trying but acknowledge they must work harder. We have made far too little par progress far too slowly and we are committed to changing that. While we've made strides in improving our diversity with a 4% increase in female airmen and a 5% increase in racial and ethnically diverse airmen over the last 10 years, the demographics indicate we still have a long way to go. Besides attracting women and people of color, the military must also retain them. Pamela Campos Palma, a former Air Force operations intelligence analyst, quit after multiple sexual assaults during her service. The feeling of being preyed upon and undermined from within made an already challenging role even harder. And despite it all, though, the Pew Research Center finds in its studies, and I'm quoting here, that today's military is more racially and ethnically diverse than in previous generations. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.